Okay, this is a video on my EEPC seven o seven o one SD. This is a hard. Oh, it's an eight. It's an eight gig solid state drive. And to be honest, I'm just gonna give you a run of mine. Let me just boot it up. This thing originally had the Linux and boot. No, it wasn't the Ubuntu. It was the Olympus Lite operating system. I've had it since Christmas, and I wouldn't get rid of it for the world at the moment. You can see it has Windows XP running on it. I'm just gonna say it took me several tries to attempt to. Put this on from USB. I'd loads of tries, but then I just I just forgot to take the account control off, which was a bit of a silly thing because I really should have put it on. Be, well, turned it off, otherwise it would have been a hell of a lot easier to put XP on it. But yeah, this is my this is my one. It's a modded version of XP. Has loads of different things on it that you wouldn't really find on XP such as like different themes, features just all kinds of cool stuff once I've logged onto my account on it for some reason it automatically logs in on a administrator's account and I don't really want that because yeah I just want to go onto my account straight away but no you know it logs on so if anybody can Give me any tips on how to stop that and log on to just my account, not an administrator account. It would be quite helpful because it's doing my head in now. It's been happening for since I'd put this XP. Oh, sorry, XP on it. Let me just log into my account and I will show you my account. There we are. Signing in. The screen's a bit bright, so I'll just turn that down so you can see it. Like that. Okay. How about now? Still a bit too bright. You, I, I won't be able to get it any darker than that. But the great thing was, when I put XP on it, they come with this, so you could all put all the XP drivers on there, which I found was. A good thing, even though this is quite an old model. Now ah, you can see it. Let me just wait for the screen to just, you know, LDC compress, which is another great thing, which come with the driver disc for it was, yeah, the XP drive day. Wait for it. There we go. Right, it's all come off now. As you can see, as you can see the taskbar. It's different to Windows. Let me just close Windows Live. So that's what one of the things I was actually scared of, just in case the screen resolution you couldn't put Windows Live Messenger on. But I was being a bit silly there because you can like there you go. As you can see the task the start menu is very much different to a normal start menu because that is one of the themes which I applied when I got it. You see the thing with this is it didn't come with the Intel Atom processor, it only come with the Intel Centrino M processor which you can only get 900Hz from which is a bit of a letdown but you know you get what you're given now. And if anybody knows if you can upgrade the processor on it, please comment or anything so it will help me out because I really want a Atom processor in this. If not, I'll have to make do or overclock it. At the moment I'm overclocking to, I think it's just 1 gigahertz, so it's not so bad. But also this comes with 512 memory, which has now been upgraded to the... Oh, crap. It was, I got a 2 gig card from Crucial Memory, that was about 
17 quid, which is really good at that. What else have I got? I've got a Bluetooth chip in there, which, you know, it's good, it's good stuff. What else? Right. right, now I can just finally show you the start menu. The start menu is, I think, a hell of a lot better. And getting onto the internet straight away, I'll just, just give you a click. Nah, it should be really fast. Look at that. There we go, that's how fast the internet is on this thing. So I think that is great. On the Olympus Lite, it was also very, very quick to get online straight away. It was quite good. Now, what else can I show you? Oh yeah, I can show you the, the actual specifications of this model. There is the like system. Okay, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this model, it's the Windows Professional, it's the version 2002, it has Service Pack 3. It has the, yeah, as I said, the Intel Citrino M processor 900 Mert overclock to the 1 gig, no, not 1 gig, 1 gigahertz, and it has 2 gigs of RAM. One thing which you can get for the EEPC range is something called where is it EEECTL, which is a great. It's, I I think it's great because you can like as you can hear, you can increase the fan speed to when you think it's getting a little bit too hot, which I am actually scared of, like burn out the process. But I don't think it's going to happen with this thing because it's so small. You know, it's been getting, the hottest I've had this thing is at 80 degrees, and I just switched it off because I was scared. I'm trying to think now, if I can think of anything else. Stickers. If you know where to get decent stickers, give me a, you know, give me a shout out, because I'd love to get more stickers on, you can see. Apple sticker. Even though I'm running XP, but I love Apple, I love absolutely adore the iMacs, the MacBook Pros. Apple TV is quite good as well. So yeah, I think I'm going to end it here, but that is my, this is my EEPC 701 SD. Oh, uh, uh, wait there. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, the Ethernet's also quite good because of course it's wireless and all that. So yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. This is, yeah, this is me. I'm Joe. Comment, subscribe or anything. Most of uh, my, my YouTube account is mainly used for music and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, comment and stuff and I'll, I'll see you around.